I actually asked my mother, Carol Purdy, and my youngest, uh, well, not my youngest auntie, but um, my, actually, she's my youngest auntie. Yeah, Mary Mahalski. So mum's younger sister, anyway, Mary Mahalski. Um, well, Mary and Purdy's, her, Purdy's her maiden name. Um, when I was lied about, I said, look, I don't need, like, I don't need to be, you know, reimbursed anything. I said, I just need a solicitor just to correct the wrong information that's gone on since 2015. That's what I said to them both. And Mary goes, no. Nah. So she said, no. Nah. I was like, right. So then what Giovanni told me that it was coming from my family, he's telling the truth. Because if my family, because he kept saying, because I, I was like, okay. When I met Giovanni, um, which was the, uh, what was the Monday straight after Brendan's birthday, Brendan, um, my nephew, his first birthday, which was in um, August 2008, it was the Monday after that. Now, I didn't start socialising with Giovanni until September 2008. When I met him, I had well, I had several savings accounts. One of my savings accounts had over 140000 in it. I had no debts, never had any debts except for the mortgage, and I paid the mortgage out. I had my sports car, my jewellery, my designer clothing, my expensive furniture, assets, and belongings already. So everything that was brought up in the last nine years makes no sense because I already owned all that before meeting Giovanni. All right, you can see that in photos, videos, um, receipts, documents, and so forth. All right. Giovanni had only been living in Sydney not even 11 years. He was living in a share house. He had no money. He was struggling in massive amounts of debt, but on his mean. He was struggling in debt, but on his means. He was an unemployed waiter. And, oh, look, I'm, I'm sick of this. Like, all the people I've been harassed by from Giovanni, whether it was fucking born-again Christians, Jehovah's Witness, a lot of these saint, Mormon cunts of people. Um, the facts are the facts. And this guy's getting away with it. So he had nothing, and he was moving back to Adelaide and so forth. He wasn't even working. Um, he had a breakdown, he told me. He had a breakdown because of his breakup with Mark Gilchrist. And he was a massive long-time ice user. That's why he never had anything. I mean, he also had, so not just only the debt that he had from some European holiday with, which he paid for Mark Gilchrist or something. He had all this child support debt as well. Um, so apparently he never raised the child, but he apparently got someone pregnant and had a child. Anyway, so he had something like, oh, 18 years worth of unpaid child support or some shit like this. Um, I don't know. But it was massive amounts of debt. He had nothing. Xbox TV and a mattress. And even the first suit that like I saw him wear, because I brought it for him, uh, from Arthur Garland in Bondi Junction. Um, that's what he wore for his interview at Manta and to get job at Manta. Okay. So all the lies in the last nine years with these social working groups and organizations and financial bullshit or whatever, it, it's none of it's true. So what happened was um, I had a gut full of all the crap going on, the bullshit every time I was around my family. Um, I said, I'm not going to um, travel. I'm not going away for Easter. We always spent Easter in Sydney. I'm having Easter in Sydney. I'm sick of the crap anyway with them. I already made it perfectly clear I won't be coming up for Easter. Then Giovanni was like, oh, I spoke to Mary Ann and we're going for Easter. I'm like, oh, fuck off. I'm sick of this shit. I was all, by this time, April 2015, I was already sick and tired of a lot of bullshit that had been said and gone. Especially if I can just, I'm not going to go too much into March 2013, but March 2013, when I was over, had that pissed me off enough. And the crap where I'm not being believed and I'm not being listened to. So I haven't never been believed, never been listened to. Um, and I've been gaslighted. So I've backed it all up with facts. Anyway, so we get back from Easter and I'm like, that's it. I've walked out. I walked out. And I'm like, I've paid everything up in advance. Internet, electricity, um, rent, it's all paid in advance. You're just going to keep paying the bills. I'm going away for six months. I was staying away. But he's like, oh, but you're still coming back here. I'm like, yeah, I was only coming back here when you weren't there in the apartment. I even came back and cleaned it when he wasn't there. So then he did lie to Acom, Bobby Goldsmith, Reach Out Organization, all these organizations, which are now cunts of people, including Dr. Baker and East Sydney doctors. They've all got wrong information. All this bullshit for years. I mean, his social workers, his fucking psychologist, the lies and bullshit. None of it's true. I'm like, okay, but you're slandering me and they're harassing me over what you're telling them. So you're telling them bullshit, they're harassing me. Anyway, 
So he then was like making up his cheek to mum going. So then he's like, oh, Justin can't pay his rent. He's gone for all his money. I'm like, so I get a phone call from mum. She's going, what did you do with the money from the sale of your house from 16 Scott Road in Tamworth? I'm like, nothing. It's still in the bank. Why? Oh, well, I've had Giovanni on the phone saying, you've got no money left. You've gone for all your money. I'm like, how can I go for my money? I'm on part sorry payment. I haven't touched my savings. Does it, how could I do that? Oh, because you bought the BMW. No, the BMW came for the money from my Alfa Romeo, and I still had the other money left over from the Nissan Silvia. I have more than one savings account. And I already own everything. I haven't bought any new clothes. I'm still wearing clothes and shoes I had in my 20s. The furniture's still there. So it's bullshit. And I'm like, oh, this is because I said to Giovanni, I'm not paying rent while I'm not living there. And we're having an argument at the moment. So, you know, butt out. Basically, it was butt outs between me and Giovanni. I said, I'll work it out if I could ever get people to speak with me. I couldn't even get my own solicitor to return my calls. In 2015, I'm going, what's going on? Oh, can you get Giovanni to call me? This is what it was like the entire time. So I'm trying to, like, it's my life. It was my workers' comp, and I'm trying to get information. Even with my own doctors, is like, oh, I'll, just, I'll explain it to Giovanni. I'm like, why? What's been said? Like, seriously, what has been said? Because that's right, because the, the head injury and brain injury was tw end up being twisted around like I was some mentally retarded person or someone with memory issues, which I never did. And then suddenly, no one's speaking with me. Like, this is what was going on. No one was speaking with me, not even my own doctors or medical team. And this is why I'm not going to be blamed for the shit in the last nine years. There's, now it starts looking like, oh, I've done something wrong. So, no, I haven't. I was mugged after work, but it wasn't the issues that anyone thought it was or what was being said. I've already said this. But then no one was taking my cause because someone twisted it around so much that if I rang my solicitor, it was like, oh, look, I'll discuss it with Giovanni and he can explain it to you, okay? Why? That's what I was dealing with all the time, even with real estate stuff. Oh, I discuss, it's like, what the fuck? So what's going on? Oh, he's told people he was a carer. Yeah, well, he wasn't a carer, okay? Now, this has gone on. So this has gone on for years before 2015. I find out in 2015, I go to correct it, that I'm getting lied about since 2015 onwards. And he's covering his ass, lying about me, and he was. But then we have a family like my mother's side, instead of just standing up, like I said, I need a solicitor to correct it. This is what I need corrected. Just want a solicitor to go listen to me. I can, which is what should have happened in 2016 at the latest, because then it wouldn't have continued on. I would have proved, backed up things, his documents, his document proof. I can speak for myself. And then the solicitor would have gone, okay, I'll send a cease and desist letter to, um, you know, Matt O'Rourke, reach out all these other organizations for you. That's all I wanted. But it didn't happen because my mother was like, oh, I'm going to build a granny flat off the back of the house and Justin's going to live here. And I'm like, get fucked. There's no reason for me to. You were just told I was getting lied about. There's no issues. Now you are creating issues. There was no issues. And now you are creating issues. So this went on, and that's the truth. Nothing ha like nothing got fixed. Instead, what happened was more lies, more gaslighting. Nine years of lies about me and gaslighting. Oh, it was apparently me. Oh, I wasn't paying this. I wasn't paying that. Or I did. And then it went from one lie to another story to Giovanni involved Stephanie DeSalas. And he did involve Stephanie DeSalas. So the other people, I'm like, she's a Facebook stalker. We were never friends. I'm not even going to entertain that anymore. I've already so, said this already, where she's like, oh, you're going to have to sell your car. And, you know, we've all got to, you know, hit rock bottom. I'm like, what are you talking about? Who are these people that are getting involved in my life? So this all started. So I thought, fuck this. I told the truth. No one will listen to me. I told these organizations, you've got wrong information. You've been lied to about me. Can you fuck off? They didn't. So I was like, oh, okay. So I was just pranking these idiots that kept coming around playing a smart ass prank on them. And I did. That's it. No, I mean, besides the fact that, yeah, I have used a walking cane for my leg because it goes bad and numb on me. Yeah, that's true. Every so often it's like it's sort of joint pain or whatever, or clicking it and it gets stiff. My muscles in my leg. Yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, I do need glasses. Um, but yeah. So... When I said to Giovanni, well, who started all this? Like, well, who's continuing it? Go back and tell the truth. And 
or he didn't fucking know anything to tell the truth, but he get, turns around to me and says, I can't do anything. It's not me. It's your mother and your family. So I was like, right. So I told them. My mother was always like, oh, it's not us. It's Giovanni. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'll ask who's going to help me with a solicitor to get it resolved, which means I want the truth told now before this gets out of hand. Okay? And put a stop to it before this gets out of hand. This is back in 2016. I said this. No, no one helped. I was like, right. So then what Giovanni said about my mother and my family is the truth. They have continued this going on further. Nine years. Oh, I'm not backing down. What I've said is the truth. I can back it up. I've kept all of my, what was most important for me to send back to Sydney? Documents. Proof. Credibility. Oh, and Dr. Baker goes, you're just going to have to let go of all this and move on from my life. No, because it's still relevant. You damaged my life, assets, belongings, savings, credibility, finances, um, income, preventing me from returning to work at Star Casino, my studies, because I already did go back and study and I could have been working in that. Um, and then there's also my savings I had as well. I worked really hard to have what I had. So no, because you know why? Giovanni got ahead with committing fraud. And whether it was a benefit or not, so whether he actually benefited or gained from it or not, he still damaged my life. Like he damaged my life with his lies. Other p people jumped onto it. I've been harassed and, and lied about since. And no. Oh, and there was no fucking breakdown. Well, that's right. Because even Giovanni's like, oh, it was your mother and your family saying you had a psychotic breakdown. I'm like, oh, well, it does sound like them. Yeah, it sounds like one of Marianne's bullshit things. So, yeah. So I have more, you know, believe him more. But no, this has just cost me in damages that people don't want to pay for and it's like well, you damaged my life you damaged my credibility through groups organizations even mental health and you lied about me and the people who got ahead from these lies about me have gone ahead and it's fraud you know i'm not gonna just sit back and say oh i'm gonna wear it no because i've been that pushover i've been that pushover too much but i've just ignored oh yeah let it go whatever no i'm not gonna do that now so, yeah, and it, it kept going for years. So, no, I'm going to keep... Actually, you can wait. Okay, you were asleep on the lounge. Now you want to come and hop in bed with me? You do? Yes? Say yes. Say yes. Look at the little cute dog waiting for me to pick him up. So he can sleep with me. All right, leave it there. But that's the truth. I can back everything I'm saying. I can back it all up with documents, um, photos, videos, so forth, um, statements. I can back every single thing up. And I've kept a massive big paper trail going right back for years, even back to 2002. So yeah, I can back it all up, what I'm saying to be the truth. And I'm not going to be lied about. That has destroyed everything I've worked hard for. Okay, and you don't care if I don't get reimbursed all the damages back, but those people who caused the, the trouble better get it. They get charged for it. So...